Hello friends and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am going over over 20 Christmas movies that you should probably watch this holiday season. Some of them are new for me and some of them I've already watched and are tried and true. I love to watch them every single year. Christmas movies start November 1st, so I have already watched quite a few of them and I'll give you my thoughts on some of the new ones that I have already seen. And I'm also gonna share with you a Grinch themed movie charcuterie snack board for a perfect Christmas movie night if you're watching The Grinch or just any holiday movie. So let's get into the video. All right, so we have the puppies sleeping behind me. We moved their bed underneath the tree and they love it. And it's so cute watching them cuddle underneath the tree. All right, so I have a list of about around 30 Christmas movies that should be on your bucket list for Christmas movies to watch this season. Okay, so we'll start with some new ones. The first one is Falling for Christmas with Lindsay Lohan. Now, I'm not sure I'll really consider this a Christmas movie, and I know everyone has different definitions of a Christmas movie. I will look at my list, and there's really no clear definition of a Christmas movie because they're all over the place, but I'm not sure I would consider that a Christmas movie. It's cute. Was it? I thought it was going to be a lot better than it was. I will say that. And that one is on Netflix. And then there also, there is also Christmas with you um, with Freddie Prince Jr. I just I couldn't get into that movie. I tried watching it two different times and I turned it off each time. I was like, meh, I don't know. There's just something about it. The next one is Spirited on Apple TV with Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds. It was good. I thought it was going to be better. Um, there were some like really funny parts in it though because you have like two comedians and I mean Will Ferrell is like one of my favorites and so is Ryan Reynolds so it was good but yeah cute ending um, I would definitely give that a watch just because it's new and if you have Apple TV definitely watch that and then also the new a new one is Santa Clauses so and it's like off of the Santa Claus. I thought this was a movie. It's actually like a TV show. So right now they have three episodes out and it's so far it's really good. Um, and that one's on Disney Plus. So I would definitely add those. Maybe wait till they're all released so you can like binge watch it because now I've only been able to watch three episodes and I'm like, okay, what's gonna happen next? But that one's really good so far. Um, another new one is Call Out the Holly, which is a Hallmark movie, but it's with the girl, one of the girls from Mean Girls, and it looks really good. It just came out last night, so I recorded it. I'm gonna watch that. So I can't tell you how it is yet. Um, I think that's all the new ones I have for this year. So we'll get into some other Christmas movies that I love to watch every season. Okay, of course, Elf. And these are in no particular order because I started writing, I was like, wait a minute, I love this one. So these are in no particular order, okay? Elf, a must, obviously, it's a Christmas classic. Some people don't like Will Ferrell and that is crazy because he is my favorite. Um, Christmas Chronicles on Netflix. I absolutely love that. That quickly became one of my favorite Christmas movies when it came out last year. We have Home Alone, Home Alone 2, um, Bad Mom's Christmas. I really like that one. Love Hard, which is on Netflix. That one's super cute. Um, the Grinch, the real version with Jim Carrey. Christmas Chronicles 2. It's okay. I like the first Christmas Chronicles better than the second one. I think the little girl's character in Christmas Chronicles 2, she acts a little too bratty for me. I didn't like her character but still cute. I'll definitely still watch it, even though it's not one of my favorites, it's still cute. And then Christmas with the Cranks is always a good one. I love when Jamie Lee Curtis is like fighting over like the white chalk or the turkey, the ham in the grocery store. I just, it's a cute movie. There's Noelle on Disney Plus. I think that one's really cute. We have Four Christmases. That is definitely one of my favorites. I just watched that the other night and I will Watch it again before Christmas. Deck the Halls, that one's really funny. Holiday, I like that one. Um, 
I can't, Emma Roberts, she's in that. And it's really cute. It's about um, a girl and basically just finding a date throughout the holidays. Really cute. I like to watch that one. That one's good. You could watch all year, but I like to watch that one around Christmas time. Office Christmas Party. That one's good. Daddy's Home 2. Um, and then we have the Santa Claus and the Santa Claus 2. And basically all those. I think there's three or four Santa Clauses now. And then now the short TV series. And then Fred Claus. Uh, that one is so funny. I will definitely watch it again. I've already watched it. But I didn't start watching that until a couple years ago. Even though it's a pretty old Christmas movie. I mean, not too old, but... I love that. Vince Vaughn is hilarious. And then Holiday in, Hand Holiday in Handcuffs. That one I believe is like an ABC one. You can get it on, on demand. I love watching that one every year. Um, same with Santa Baby and Santa Baby 2. Um, those are both really cute. I like the Santa Baby one first over Santa Baby 2. And then we have Coming Home for Christmas. That is... Oh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, if I remember correctly, because I wrote it down. Um, that one is a Hallmark movie, but it's one of my favorite Hallmark movies. I just like the storyline, and it's very cute. Excuse my voice. I am getting over a cold, and it's been like 10 days. I'm like, when is this going to go away? Um, and then The Real Housewives of the North Pole, or The Housewives of the North Pole. I don't watch reality TV, but this is not a reality it's a movie but it's really funny and it's cute. I like it. And then we have the 12 dates of Christmas. And that one is with like a girl who just keeps waking up every single day for 12 days. Um, I just watched that one last night and I've watched that one several times. It's cute. And then the 12 days of Christmas Eve. I This is an older movie, but I think it's good. And that one is on I want to say Amazon Prime. And then Christmas Cupid. That one's also really good. So that is my list of Christmas movies to watch. Now, I guess you could put, I don't have one here, Family Vacation. Um, I just, a lot of people are going to like hate for this. A lot of people, I'm sorry, no. Okay. I just watched Family Vacation Christmas, or National Lampoon's Family Vacation. There we go. For the first time, like all the way through last year. For the first time. Yeah. It's cute, I guess. Um, yeah. Obviously there's classics like Rudolph, Frosty the Snowman, the cartoons. Like I loved watching those growing up. Um, I've never seen Miracle on 34th Street. Or if I have, it was like in the when I was a child. I don't remember it. But... I'm sure there are some Christmas movies on here that are your guys' favorites that I did not list. So let me know down in the comments, what is your all time favorite Christmas movie? I'll give you my top three because I can't think of just one. So my top three Christmas movies are Elf, Four Christmases, and Christmas Chronicles. Yes, those are my top three Christmas movies. So yeah, if I did not list your favorite Christmas movie or one that you watch every single year, let me know down in the comments. And so now I'm going to show you my Grinch board that I made for our Christmas bake night the other night. It turned out so cute, um, so easy to put together and like serve at your next movie night or just at a little event then people will love it. Right. <laughs> That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, bye.